Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to French RCIR part two, the lunchtime menu. And today we're having tuna potatoes, carrot and chicken soup, I think that is. Uh, chicken pate, salt biscuits, and a coffee commando bar as a snack. And I'm going to try and make my first mochaccino of the French coffee and the uh, chocolate. Never done that before, so I just want to try because I know it would be the last one. So <laughs> I'm just going to try it. It's the only thing I haven't done. Right then, uh, I'll get this. I'm going to cook this in the boil. I'm going to boil this in a pan of water. Then I'm going to open it up. Um, it doesn't say have it cold. I've looked all over the tin. Don't say consume it froid, which is eat cold. Um, I couldn't find it, so you can have it cold, you can have it hot, but I decided I'm going to heat it up. But while that's doing, I'll get the soup on the go and get the crackers and the chicken pate as well, and do those. And I'll re boil the kettle and we'll make the mochaccino, it's a seed. Um, and we'll get the bowl for starters, obviously, while that's doing. I'll have the soup first, and um, then, then, then then that. Right, okay then, let's get it on. Right, okay, got a bowl of soup. Um, I've read the instructions. Apparently it says you can have this, in. The, you can actually make the packet up in the packet. Make the soup in the packet even. <laughs> um, it'd be enough to pour in, into your canteen, mate, put it that way. You know, if I had a, my canteen, I'd pour it into there easily. But um, just for uh, the video, we'll be doing it in the bowl again. Right, okay then. That's, uh... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Spill a little bit there. Oh, it's got croutons as well. Little um, pasta uh, bits. That's interesting. Yeah, you can kind of smell like a chicken. Chicken smell there. Let's get these uh, bits back in the bowl. Um, yeah, like a sort of carroty chicken type thing. That's what it is. So it'll be, you know, like a real nice starter. As well as the, uh, they're everywhere. Oh my God. They've gone everywhere. Soup everywhere. It's all over the place. Right. Okay, and this is chicken pate. So nails which I haven't kind of shame I have broken this really there we go that is chicken patty in like a gel I think yeah it smells um well delicious <laughs> just like everything in the French rations spot on right salt biscuits I'll tell you something about these salt biscuits in a minute they're not unbroken which is great um if you ever try these on their own, just nibble a bit off the corner, and then, you know, let it dissolve in your mouth, and then, you know, swallow it or whatever. That is foul. <laughs> it really leaves a really horrible, salty, seawatery taste in your mouth. I only little, just literally bit the corner off. <laughs> and it was horrible. You know, it was much better with a pate, but on its own, hell no. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Um, you know, I was busy yesterday making um, K ration uh, biscuits out of the salt biscuits yesterday. So almost the same size, they look almost the same. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. The chocolate ones would go exactly the same way. I'll be making the chocolate K ration biscuits. Right, anyway, um, time for soup. Alright, put some hot water in, I don't want too much, I suppose. Maybe that might be enough. That might be enough. Of course, I'll use the MRE spoon because that uh, little spork is just not going to be good enough. It won't even be good. It might be good to get the little bits out, but you know, the little uh, croutons and carrots and stuff like that. But you would, it would take you ages to finish it. <laughs> but of course, you'd be drinking if you had the canteen, you'd be drinking it out of your canteen, obviously. You, know, you wouldn't have a spoon. If I was a, uh, you know, out there and uh, I'll just use my canteen and drink it, no probs. Right, we'll give that a few minutes. And while that's doing, we'll, uh... oh, hang on a minute, 
I've just I've just realised something. Oh, that's so all. I've got twenty five minutes of tape. Oh god, I just <laughs> heart failure. I forgot to uh, upload my video to my PC. I've got twenty five minutes. Okay, let's try and get this done quick. Let's get this done quick. Put that back over there. See, right, some uh, pate, chicken pate there. Oh. <laughs> I'll use that one. I landed on that one. Let's use that one. And salt biscuits, perfect combination. It's quite uh, doesn't spread that well, to be honest. It really doesn't spread that well. Better off just sort of doing it in lumps, really. Just sort of a lump it, lump it on like an ice cream, that kind of thing. It just does not want to spread that well. Okay. Well, yeah, that's. Probably about the best as we'll get it. <laughs> Some chicken there, put that in there, press it down with your thumb. Use your fingers as well. There you go. Pate, chicken pate on a salt cracker. Right. Okay. We'll have a seat then. Hmm. Tastes alright. Right, okay then. Let's have some soup. Chicken and carrot soup. With uh, pasta, little, little bits of pasta. Little bits of pasta. Yeah, you can taste the chicken. Whatever is in the um, in the sauce, I'm um, sorry, the soup. But you can taste that chicken, definitely. <laughs> definitely taste the chicken. Can't sort of tilt it over too much, it's just going to spill out. Yeah, I'm kind of salty. You know, you could use a pepper with that. That would be, be quite nice. No problem, but that's very, very, very nice, yeah. Chicken and carrot soup, I love it. Probably been better than the mushroom soup I had last time. That's a rough guess. Mmm, yeah. <clears throat> you can taste the salt. You know, I didn't see how much salt was in this, but it's uh, very nice, yeah, love it. Most carrot bits and bits of meat, whatever that, or whatever that is. Yeah, <coughs> definitely a thumbs up from me, that packet. I'll have that again. Mmm, delish. Mmm, oh, yeah, that's really nice. I love that, uh, those little pasta bits and the carrot. It's quite nice. I was expecting it to be sort of red for some reason. Because to me the carrot content. But it's not. It's uh, sort of a soupy, yellowy type thing. Very, very um, gloomy here today as well. Uh, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> it's just no sun, it's just cloud. Cloud day. And for an MRE there is no rain. <laughs> Right, it's not raining. It is not raining. Hmm. Right then, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna come back for the salt crackers. Well, that was very nice. Enjoyed that. Empty bowl. Yummy. Right, it's time for those salty crackers. Oh sorry, salt biscuits even. And chicken pate. Yeah, that lovely firm bite. Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Mmm. Right. Um, go back to Unis Bork. And we'll get this commando bar open as well. Last one. We'll ever have. Such a shame. I like this. Mm. Okay, Cafe Commando Bar. Last one I'll ever have. 
Well, there's a little bit more coffee this time. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit more coffee smell this time. All right, so some more of this uh, French biscuit, salt biscuit, and some chicken patty. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's yum. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. Right. Okay. That's very nice. That's per usual. So some of this uh, chocolate. I think that might do actually. Might be able to some have some for uh, bedtime. We'll see. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Right then. Um Let's pour the hot water in. Like that. Put that down. And we let that coffee. Um, I think it was give a stir first. Maybe. No. Ah! Oh, my memory spoon just broke. Ah! Oh. oh no! That's the first time it's happened. Wow! Oh my God! My memory spoon just broke. Oh, unbelievable. Might put some of this French coffee in. Mmm, yeah, very uh, coffee. Just love that coffee smell. French coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm a bit gutted about that. I like that MRE spoon. It's had so much use. <laughs> it's just had so much use. It's just worn it. I've just worn the spoon out. Oh well, I've got about what 16 more to get through. So that can go in the bin now. Such a shame. Served me well though. Done very very well. Right, as a mochaccino. Yeah, it smells uh, different. I'll give you that. It smells different. Right. Oh well, one now more spoon less. Right, let's uh, get dinner. Right. Okay then. This is going to be like real hot, so I'm going to use a tea towel to uh, grip this with. Just, uh, just going to be too hot. Way too hot. Right. Ugh. Oh no! It broke off. Oh, for God's sake, come on, you're having a laugh, ain't ya? Oh, great, now I can't get it oh, open. Disaster, epic fail. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do now? I can't get it open. I don't know if I get it open with. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, right, I'll, I'll be back. Right, <laughs> I done it. I got it. Bit of ingenuity and that took care of it sorted right we're gonna need some uh, pepper not salt there's probably enough salt in there already but um, I'll get this out onto the tray as well right then avoid the major disaster so let's get this out onto the tray we'll try anyway we'll try now oh, that worked first time <laughs> amazing First time. I was expecting a complete disaster. That's a lot of food, isn't it? My God, 300 grams. I am going to be full for the rest of the day. I won't need any tea later on. Right, okay then. Well, here we go then. With the, the French tuna and the potatoes. Um, oh, <laughs> bit of pepper. Pimenta. That's a bit of pepper. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, Fanny. Sounds like a jerk coming over. Right, okay then. Here we go. First 
tuna and potatoes. Uh, we have a relatively healthy dinner today. Can't get much healthier than that really, can you? <laughs> right, I'll get them. There's some potatoes. Let's try one of these first, see how it goes. Mmm, very soft. I like it. Very, very soft. Be a bit of tuna there. Lots of uh, herbs in there, some peppers. God knows what else. Let's try that. Mmm, mmm. Awesome. Yeah, you could have this cold. If you ever get menu one, the up to date box, you could definitely have this cold. It's very, very nice. But also nice hot, you know. <clears throat> A bit of pepper there. <clears throat> but it's delicious, seriously. Mmm, mind blowing, nice. Eh? But I will be full for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh. and potatoes and pepper. Oh, he dropped it. Clumsy. That is going to be very filling. Got the French soldiers, man. <laughs> I'm trying to eat that in one go. I'll give a bit of a close up so you can see what that uh, food is. That lovely tuna there, all the lovely potatoes, and peppers, God knows what else. But the black pepper really does make it uh, very nice. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Black pepper. And tuna. Mmm. Heaven. I mean, it was a little the fork sport thing. You know, it takes quite a while to eat it. But uh, that was a mega, me mega meal. The French are gourmet of rations. I've said it so many times and I'm right. They're sort of the kings of food. <laughs> but for a soldier, imagine eating that. We quite thought we wouldn't want to do anything. We really would have sit down. Mm. Wow. Fantastic. Peppers are very nice as well. Spot on. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Mind blown. Right. Let's also have uh, a bit more of that French salt biscuit. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm. What a fantastic dinner I've got today. Fantastic. We could put tuna on the salt cracker as well. You can get a bit. A bit of potato maybe as well. <laughs> oh. Mmm. <laughs> That's delicious. Fantastic. Fantastic. But that is just mind blowing guys, seriously mind blowing. These French really do know how to make excellent ration dinners. You know, there's nothing on the English menu that I can think of would even touch that. <laughs> Same as the French, uh, the, the chicken pate, right? It's just done the French way. They are the specialty cooks. They really do know how to cook. If they ever made this meal, I'd like to shake them by the hand, seriously. But uh, <clears throat> it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, I'm going to try and finish this. <laughs> it may be a while. Well, that was just um, absolutely fantastic. Magnifico. Um, it was mind-blowing. <laughs> that was just one of the best dinners I've had. You know, not the best, one of the best. Uh, it's just, oh, it's just, even the juice, you know, the juice around it is, is fantastic. You know, it's the whole meal of the, Tuna, potatoes, or peppers, whatever those green things were. It's just mind blowing. I'm stunned, seriously. Absolutely stunned. What can I say? 10 out of 10. Definitely 10 out of 10. Right, anyway, let's have this mochaccino. I have no idea what the hell this is going to taste like. Mmm, really not that good, to be honest. Not a fan, really.
It's all right. Yeah, it's all right, but give me a nice coffee or a hot chocolate any day. Yeah, it's all right, you know, you can drink it, but really not my thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll completely finish it. Right, for afters, we have a coffee commando bar, which probably go quite well with a mochaccino, a rough guess. Mm, very firm, that was. A lot firmer than the last one I have. Very, very firm. Mmm. But nice. Very, very nice. Wow. Mmm. Yeah. Just slightly more coffee taste. Just a hint more coffee this time. But that will be the last bar I ever have. I'm going to enjoy that. Let's have some of that mochaccino. Yeah, it goes pretty well with it, to be honest. Yeah, it goes very well. Happy with that. Mmm, very nice. Very, very nice. Fantastic. Well, I'm absolutely stunned. You know, that was fantastic. Mind-blowingly fantastic, that was. A bit gutter bread my memory spoon, but uh, I've got that. Bag full of the damn things. Um, I had to go to the hospital this morning uh, to have an x ray. Um, my foot's swollen up a bit. Apparently, I've done something to the ligament, which runners get as well, apparently. Because we were running about in the pool yes, um, last week. Um, and ever since I got out of the pool, my heel was really hurt when you put it down on the ground and you start walking on it. And the doctor said, You've done something. You've, she's, it's, a, it's a long technical name, I can't pronounce it. I can't remember what she said, but it's a long name. Um, but it's, I've done something to ligament in my heel apparently that's um, hurting. So I'm waiting for the results of that. But other than that, uh, hydrotherapy tomorrow, looking forward to it. If they let me swim, of course. <laughs> I will have phone out when I get there. Mm. You know, Mocachino, it's all right, you know. Not bad, really, for my first one I've ever tried. Right, so that's it. I'll wrap that up then. So, chicken pate and the salt crackers, perfection, but don't never eat salt crackers on their own. They're way too salty. Coffee commando bar, fantastic. The mochaccino, yes, yeah, all right. Not bad, but I'd rather have a coffee. Um, the pepper was fine with the tuna and potatoes and the red peppers. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Mind blowing. Um, I rate that very highly, that meal. Very, very highly. But other than that, that is it. I've really enjoyed that. I'm quite full now, so I probably won't have any tea later. <laughs> you know, if you're a skinny soldier, you'd be really full, seriously. <laughs> That's going to take quite a long time to digest. But I enjoyed it. That was a great dinner. Fantastic last French dinner time, um, lunchtime for me, I mean. That was the last uh, French lunchtime. So, thanks for stopping by again. Thanks for the comments, guys. Uh, enjoyed it. Um... Well, thanks for watching again and watching my videos and commenting and liking them all. I really appreciate that. I just noticed that my tray has moved. <laughs> Didn't spot that. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow after hydrotherapy with the last tea time menu. Well, I call tea time. You guys call it dinner time. But yeah, it's dinner tea slash tea time. That's going to be very nice. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. Oh, blimey, it's going to be awesome. Right, bye for now, guys. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day.